how to connect network switches to an NVR for effective video transmission in an IP camera setup. And so in this video, we will be exploring the various ways of connecting network switches to an NVR, especially when using more than one network switch for your IP CCTV camera setup. Here is an NVR with just a single LAN port. This single LAN port is meant for connecting cameras into the NVR. And so for these kinds of NVRs, they require network switches such as the one here connected to them to allow for the connection of multiple cameras into the NVR. So we'll be using these three network switches for the demonstrations. So let's first look at the first method. We will connect a cable from the uplink port of one switch into the uplink port of the next switch. We will as well connect another cable from this second switch into the third switch. We will then connect this cable that is coming from the MVR into the second uplink port of the first switch. Our connection is done, but let me explain what happens in this type of network. The camera traffic from this bottom switch will be transferred into this middle switch. As a result of this cable that is linking this switch to this other switch, cameras connected to this middle switch will then be added to the traffic coming from the switch below and then transferred into the top switch. The top switch then adds its camera traffic to those coming from the bottom and middle switches and then transfer the total traffic into the NVR. Clearly, in this kind of network, there is a very high possibility of network congestion as a result of the overload of the network switches, especially for the middle and top switches. The effect of such overloads will result in intermittent video loss or broken server connections for some of the cameras that will be connected to this sort of network. What to do to eliminate all the network congestions and the video loss problems is to introduce a router into the setup. So let me quickly disconnect this setup and let's see how the new setup goes. We will connect a network cable from this switch into the router. We will also connect from the uplink port of this switch and put into the router. The last switch to we will connect from the uplink port into the router. Now that the switches are all connected to the router, we are left with the MVR to connect. So we will as well connect a network cable from the LAN port of the MVR into the router. What this now means is that the output of each of the switches, for example switch 1, now goes directly into the router. The same does for switch 2. Its output goes directly into the router. And also for switch 3, 
it has a direct output onto the router. The router then directs the outputs from all the switches into the NVR. This is a much more fluid and very efficient kind of network compared to the earlier network we created. But the question someone may ask is that, given the same connection structure in which the router is used, can a switch be used to replace the router and still be able to have the same results that the router could deliver? The answer is an emphatic no. Just because routers are designed to serve as gateways and they are purposefully built with the ability to manage network traffic, hence their ability to bring serenity into networks of this nature. Thank you so much for your time on this channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We so much appreciate it. Thank you.